in security roles, the cornerstones are responsibility, competence, and preparedness. The paramount objective is to ensure flawless operations and unbiased protection for all leaders. A failure of imagination can trigger cognitive dissonance, erode trust, and heighten public anxiety. This was a failure of imagination. A failure to imagine that we actually do live in a very dangerous world where people do actually want to do harm to our protectees. I think it was a failure to challenge our own assumptions. The assumptions that we know our partners are going to do everything they can, and they do this every day. But we didn't challenge our own assumptions of, we assume that someone's going to cover that. We assume that there's going to be uniform presence. We didn't challenge that internally during that advance. In government positions, responsibility and competence are non-negotiable. The notion of a failure of imagination highlights a departure from genuine responsibility and operational integrity. Calls for resignation or dismissal reflect the public's demand for leadership that avoids such severe mistakes. It's alarming to think the Secret Service might not have rigorously questioned their assumptions or sufficiently protected the process. Strong law enforcement and national security are deeply valued by the public, so any suggestion of carelessness or inadequate preparation invites intense scrutiny and demands for improved protocols. Suspicions of political bias or deliberate negligence may arise, especially if there's a sense that resources were intentionally restricted for Trump's security. This failure will likely necessitate a thorough investigation to determine if there were any political motivations.